Hello again, everyone. Um, I have been asked if I could just show you, hopefully quickly, how I made um, a sentiment frame for a wedding card. Uh, I used the people's names and the date that they were going to get married. So I used Word 2013 um, and I've got it on my um, PC, my laptop. But what I like to do when using uh, Word for making things that are going to be on cards is to have the visible size of whatever I'm doing, the exact size that it'll be when it's printed out. So what I do is I set the visible size of the page so that it fits a sheet of A4. And you can see this is too small. At the moment, down at the bottom there, I can see it says it's 110 percent. So in order to change it to make it the right size there's a couple of things you can do one of which down the bottom here there's a little toggle beside the size of the screen and um, you can toggle that back and forth until you get the right size but what I do is to go up to view click on view then I go to zoom click on zoom and here there's a percentage and at the moment it's set at 110 and I just happen to know that my screen size uh, to fit a sheet of A4 is 118%. So if I click on that, you can now see that the visible page is the same size as my sheet of A4, which is going to be going through my printer. OK, that's the very first thing. That means that if I have a die that I'm going to cut out and I do this, I know that that is the size that it's going to be on my piece of card. Exactly. It's going to look the same size. OK, now, first thing I want to do is to give myself a guide as to how large my card front is going to be, the, the, the panel that I'm going to be using. So this is my card panel and I, I often just draw a square just to keep me in line really so I know what I'm doing. So in able to, to be able to draw a square you go up to insert at the top, click, go to shapes, click, draw a shape and I'm just going to choose a rectangle and I'm going to just drag it out like this. Now that's going to be too big. If you want to you can measure the shape that you're going to do with a ruler and then just alter the size here to match or you can um, hold a corner and drag it in. It's up to you. Um, this one is about 14 and a half, I would say, uh, by 14 and a half. So we can just toggle the size here, 14 and a half by 14 and a half. I'm going to get rid of this blue square later. It's just to keep me on the straight and narrow so I know that, that is going to, oh, it's a bit actually big. Let me make it 14.4, 14.4. Okay, that's fine, 14.4. So that's the, the size of my card front. This is going to be the embellishment that's going to go in the middle. So I want my words to go around that. So first thing I'm going to do is I, I'm on um, the shapes one at the minute uh, to find that I'll just show you, you go to insert shapes. If you can't find it where you are, there it is. And I'm going to e um, enter a text box. So here's my text box. I'm just going to draw one. And I think I'm going to draw it the same length as my shape. Okay, it's there. Right. Now I'm going to put something into my text box. What shall we say? Let's say on your wedding day. Oops, a daisy. It'd be nice if you spelt it right. On your wedding day, Jack and Jill, and we'll put May the 4th, shall we? <laughs> May the 4th be with you. 2024. That'll do. OK, um, it's not in the middle of the box at the moment. So if I want it to be in the middle of the box, highlight it. And I'm going to go up to 
home. And here you've got um, various uh, left justify, right justify, left and right justify, but I'm going to just go to middle. So it's going to go in the middle of the box. Okay. Uh, now I don't want that sent. I don't want that um, font. So let's go up to. It's still highlighted. Up to font here, and we'll choose something different. So let's choose. Oops, a daisy. Let's choose formal. Okay. Um, and that is actually um, almost big enough, isn't it? Really, there's a, a bigger space there than it should be. That's why it's put a little wavy line underneath. Okay, on your wedding day. Jack and Jill, May 4th. But you can do whatever you want to that kind of thing. Um, now, you can um, copy this by highlighting, right-click, copy. And we'll come here and we'll just paste. And we've got another one. Okay, so we'll have another one as well. Paste. And we'll have another one as well. Right-click paste. Okay, so now I've got four, one for each side. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to drag one of them to the side over here and I'm going to grab this little toggly thing, left click and then rotate with the other hand, with the other finger, should I say. Um, and we can have this, whoops, a daisy, pick the wrong thing. Let's just grab this and put it just corner to corner with this one there's lots of different things you can do with this you can you know you can have the position wherever you want really come over here you there that's better so that's two sides so we we'll grab another one and this one we want to turn completely the other way up if we're going to have our frame going around like this so get that there grab it by a side and put it corner to corner I can still see it's not, it's not quite in the right place, but we, we're fine. We're fine. This one will have to go this way so that they're all with the base of the um, sentiment towards the centre. So that's there like that. Now, if you look here, I am not in the middle of my blue square, but that particularly doesn't matter. The blue square is to ensure that I've got enough space to die cut my panel from here. OK, if I want to, I can move. I can press shift and I can hold each of these four panels, highlight each of the four panels and then they will move together. Let me just get further up here. Keep my shift down and now if I want to I can move them and they'll all move together. Do you see? Everything's highlighted. It'll all move together. If I click that one off, um, I actually don't need that one at all now because I know, I know my size. So I can Get rid of that and I can move these a little bit higher. OK, I'm going to highlight all a lot of them by holding shift and clicking on each one in turn. And if you do that, that one's not quite in the right position. There, that's better. OK, highlight, highlight, highlight. And now all of them will move together. OK. Can grab, drag the whole thing, move it up a bit. So that is basically my sentiment all around. You could play around with this. You could have one, um, let's just click it out so that they're all separate again. You could have one like this. And this one, this is what I did in mine. Um, have the next one up to there, like that. This one here you can just play around and do whatever you want and that one would fit there so you could do that if you wanted to um, but we don't want the lines we don't want the boxes anyway so again if you hold down the shift and then just tap on each one of them all four are highlighted and we go up to format don't want them, just go away up to format shape outline click the drop down box no outline oh that one must have come on tagged so let's just get rid of that one as well no outline so there is your sentiment that we could go round as if it's wrapped or you could have it you know in the middle the world's your lobster you can do what you like so now you know that 
this would fit inside. It will fit, the, pa it's, the position on the paper is sufficient to be able to cut your front panel out. So you can just kind of go for it really, but have a bit of fun, have a little play around, but that's basically it. Get the visible size to the size of an actual sheet of card that you're going to be printing onto. Use the dies that you're going to cut with to compare the size that you want. Put the text you want into a text box, which you can move anywhere at all on the page, anywhere at all. Just copy it, paste it, and then move the second one wherever you want. You could, you can do all sorts. So that's basically it, pure and simple. So uh, have a play, have a go. You can only get better. Thanks for watching.